Hi everyone, welcome back. This week I'm going to be doing a cold process soap video, but I'm mostly going to be doing a update on some of the things that I have going on and an update of like what I'm going to be doing on the YouTube channel. I've kind of talked about it a little bit, but I want to go into it a little bit more. Um, this week is, like I said, a cold process soap video. I did a poll a couple weeks ago and about 75% of you guys said you want to see melt and pour videos, so I'm going to try to do more of those. And then the other 25% said you want to see um, cold process soap. So this is my design idea for this video. I'm just going to tell you right now, it did not come out at all like I wanted to and I didn't reattempt to do it, but I might at a later date and then upload a video of that. Basically, I've decided for the cold process soap videos, I am going to participate in the Soap Club Challenge. Um, I've done that in years past. Um, I think the first time I did it was probably about, I'm going to say eight years ago. It's been such a long time. And then she stopped doing it for so many years um, because she had her own health issues, Amy did. And, um, you know, I didn't participate in it and I kind of got away from soaping myself. But I decided that's what I'm going to do, at least for the time being, is on my cold process videos, I'm going to just try to participate in that. Um, I really do like sharing recipes with you guys and doing new things, um, but right now it's just not in my budget to buy a lot of excess in products. But if you want more recipe videos versus technique videos, those of you that wanted cold process soap videos, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of recipes you're interested in. Um, it seems like the videos that I do with purees, I don't know if you've watched any of those on my channel, but it seems like a lot of you guys like the puree videos. Um, I like doing a lot of lye water replacements as well. Um, so, um, you know, I can do more videos like that. Um, on this video that I'm filming right now, I was basically trying to do the uh, technique where you... Um, make a shape and you kind of like a shape I don't forget what they're called somebody let me know like a a mold for your soap and then you kind of like scrape away that I forget what they're called the, the soap scrapers or something but that was one of the first um the first techniques I actually learned from the soap club um was a project I think it was the first time they did it and I have only used it maybe two or three other times since then um, so I kind of forgot that when you do that you need to give yourself or make a lot of extra soap if you use this technique. That is part of actually most of all of the reason why this didn't work is because I didn't make enough extra soap guys. Um, I wasn't really thinking about it. I was just mostly worried about getting this shape right so that I can make the little alien UFO shape. Um, and I'm going to like I said upload this video kind of probably title it something to go along with the soap club challenge um but i don't think i'm actually going to submit an entry um because the soap didn't come out and i'm a little bit embarrassed um i ended up just having sort of like a layered kind of design um for the soap so i know you've all been there before where you get really excited on an idea and then it just doesn't turn out and i i don't know i share a lot of my soap fails on this channel just because um, I have been making soap, like I said, since probably 2012, so about 10 years, but I don't do it on like a massive scale. I don't do it week, well, I almost do it weekly because of the channel, but I don't make a lot of batches um, outside of this channel. I, pretty much most of what I make is for the channel. Um, uh, on occasion, I'll do some for my Etsy shop and stuff like that, or friends and family, I will make them a couple bars, but I don't get really intricate on my designs because that has never been my strong suit with cold process soap making. I love the science that goes into it. I like it. It's relaxing. It's a lot like baking, but I just have not mastered a lot of techniques, unfortunately, as far as design goes. Um, so anyway... I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what I was thinking for the cold process soap people. Like I said, if there is a certain kind of video that you guys want to see or a certain um, more technique than um, design element, I, I like I said, I'm better with technique. I'm good at lye water replacements. I'm good at purees. Um, I know how to like incorporate additives pretty well. Um, if there's any sort of weird soap experiment or something that you're like, well, I wonder if that works, 
I've tried a lot of different weird things in soaps. I've tried eggs. I've tried yogurt, um, different milks. Um, I don't know. Leave a comment down below, like, what's the weirdest additive that you've put in cold processed soap? I'm just kind of curious. Um, and a lot of the stuff that you can put in soap, cold processed soap actually does not mold. Part of it has to do with the way the lye kind of preserves everything. Um, but that's the one thing that I kind of like about it, opposed to the melt and pour soap. It's just a little bit more fun to make a totally custom, unique product, I guess. So that's what I would say. But anyways, I just wanted to put a little update out there for you guys, and I appreciate you all watching my soap fails. And like I said, I'm going to keep um, joining the soap club and posting updates. I don't know if I'll actually get something to submit every month. But I just wanted to let you know that in case you guys were also participating in it. Um, I like to watch the videos for those, mostly for entertainment purposes or to see what other people are doing. And then I like to see, like, how they did the stuff or, you know, stuff like that. Because it kind of inspires me to, you know, get creative and try something else new. But thank you guys for watching as always. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you back again and again. And, um, yeah, the end. <laughs>